All right. Welcome to West. No, sorry. Welcome to Shadows Over Loathing. It says continue, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go to new game. Here we are. The the A W D S Moving Company. It's how you move. Oh my God! This wind. You hear the sounds of a diner behind you. Maybe someone there can help you with your little magazine on the face problem. Or I could give up. No. Oh, golly. Yeah. This wind, it blows in two different directions. Oh, can I get hit by a car? Ah, abs <laughs> absolutely. Oh, God. <laughs> Right then, I don't know exactly what I expected there, but that that for sure wasn't it. All right, into the diner. The Nightingale Diner. Shouldn't bother anybody until you get this magazine off your face. It smells like pie. Ermf, ermerf. I'm not talking to you until you wipe that look off your face. Werflark, the copy of Look Magazine that stuck to your face. Bathroom's in the back. She points over to the right. As far as you know. Thanks. Do 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 be do be do do dee dee dee. Wow. Sometimes just those few steps it takes a lot. You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing, yes, my face. Oh. Oh. I don't know, that's a lad right there. Hmm. But I like this lad's hair. Oh, no, that's what we're going with. There I am. Leave the bathroom. Go inside. Pe <laughs> you were just in there a few seconds ago. If you go in again, people will think you're weird. Well, we wouldn't want that. A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion. Well, one of them is. Hmph. The way these young women act these days with their short hair and their sassy talk and their dresses that don't even cover their... their... ankles. It's scandalous. And those dances they do, flailing around like I don't know what. I'd have thought Prohibition would have put the kibosh on that sort of tomfoolery, but no, sir. Can't imagine dancing a waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. This newfangled jazz music with all the drums and, and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that? Anyway, jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. <laughs> oh, let's get that. Mouse out of there. Oh, they've got one of those new meat-operated multi-selection phonographs, or jukeboxes as the kids call them. Neat. Hey, there's something in the coin return. Meat. Place. All right. Yep. Shove it straight back in there. Oh. Much better. <laughs> Try coffee. You'll like it eventually. A couple of young women are chatting breezily over coffee. Hey, Mac. What town is this? Uh. <laughs> Pokeepsy. Are you two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we boosted her jelly beans breezer for. <sighs> so we boosted her jelly beans breezer for a weekend whirl to the hot potato. Oh, Bushwa, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew him a kite. Everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a cancelled stamp? Go put some pepper in your shoes. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll try that. Meat only, no credit. Well, no, that looks much better. I'm Ethel. Uh, toast? You already know. Uh, McRoast. Pleased to meet you, Toast McRoast. What can I get you? Does the bus to Ocean City Park pick up here? Sure does. Should be here any minute. Good thing, too. I hear we're in for a rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That's a reason, hun. But it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? 
Ethel locks eyes with you. I, uh... Uh... Yeah. Mind your own business, Ethel. No, we'll say... I'm searching for something. I see. Do you know what it is you're looking for? Something dark. <laughs> Ooh, got the perk haunted. What do you mean by that? There's something in my dreams. A kind of darkness, but it's moving. I have to find out what it is. Some of the color drains from Ethel's cheeks. <laughs> Stare at her for a while and then leave. I can get you. Can I get a cup of coffee? One meat? Shoot, I'm flat broke. Well, that's a shame. Hey, you. Can I have one meat? Is there something particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one of the day. No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it is a bad beverage. It's bitter and it makes my stomach hurt. Ah, well, not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though, and then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy. I I actually really, really genuinely enjoy coffee. I love coffee. I like the taste. And I drink coffee all the time. You pull out the letter you got from Uncle Murray and read it again. Murray Morris, co-owner of Murray's, Murray's, Murray's Antiques. 111 Plunkett Street, Ocean City. Dear Toast, I hope this letter finds you well, and I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened, and I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you are able, please. Your Uncle Murray. Alright. You're just about to go mad from the monotony of this ride when the bus suddenly jetters to a stop. You look out the window expecting to see the sights and sounds of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Alright, bus driver. What's going on here? Before you talk to the bus driver, I, the narrator, am interrupting because I see that you've played through this bit before. Would you like to skip the prologue? If you do, you will go directly to Ocean City with 17 meat, 30 experience points, and any items you kept in previous prologue playthroughs. PPPs. Nope. What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Aw, oh, jeez, you didn't fill up before we left? I filled up the bus, but this trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. What? You hand to an empty gas can. Oh, you got it. Oh, plus an additional can. Swell. Why do I have to go get it? Well, I'd go myself, except for two reasons. Those being, firstly, being as I'm the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I gotta keep an eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fella that doesn't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. Well, alright. <laughs> See you then. Guess I haven't got much choice. Can I borrow your umbrella at least? This is a left-handed umbrella. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use, though. Good luck. Thanks. You would make a dog walk six miles in this rain, no matter how bad it wanted to. What this bus lacks in comfort, it comes up for an unreliability. Ah, an old billboard from before the war. Gas pump. Full of water. A little bit of gas, but there's no hose. Seems like just yesterday, the gas only costs... Six and fifteen sixty-fourth meat a gallon. How do you how do you split up fifteen sixty-fourths of one meat? Also, another question. Uh, what kind of meat is this? Because that just looks like a steak. To where it's a exact amount for each piece or portion of meat. It's one object left on the snack shelf. A cheese loaf. Nobody in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. Well, I guess I'm not in my right mind then, because I love cheese, and that's a whole loaf of it. Baseball bat. Okay. Sign says employees only. Only. Are you an employee? No. Well, since this place is out of business, it probably wouldn't hurt anything for you to go back there, I guess. Thank you. 
desk presumably optimized for doing gasoline-related business. Four of the drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. The fifth one is locked. Broken radio can still be considered nice. This is a pretty nice radio. Oh, whoops. The shelf smells like axle grease and old paint, probably because that's what's on it. The shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have any use for any of them, though. This shelf is full of old personnel files. Each object that you examine on this shelf is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. Some kind of weird machine. This is a control for that car lift thing. I probably shouldn't just press this. Really want to know the story behind this sign. Big tool chest, but all the good tools have already been stolen. A fuse box. As advertised, this is a box containing one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. Must be one around here somewhere. Okay. What's this? Haunted. Don't worry, it will find you soon enough. Oh. I regret my choices. Oh, look for a fuse. I got a fuse! Replace it. Shwink. Oh, yeah. Pour it in your can. Now I've got... There's nothing else of interest in this car. There's also no interest for a year if you'd like to buy it. I would not. Suit yourself. Probably don't know how to drive anyways. Oh, wait. I said search it. Onward. Finnegan's optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. Miserable looking hitchhiker is standing in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. Hi there. Her head turns slowly to face you, and her eyes don't quite beat yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh, also, I don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? I'm Toast. Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia, although I admit the circumstances aren't great. So, what's in Albany? Do you have family there? No, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that's fair. You know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus I was on ran out, and the driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I've never been there. Well, okay then. How about this rain, huh? Lydia looks very slightly surprised and glances around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, sure is. What a night to be stuck out on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Well, anyway. Seen any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What do you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one? The Cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. Really terrific. Um, read any good books lately? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Oh, yeah. H.G. Wells is great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forget the name, but it was terrible. His early works are, the, are his best, like The Time Machine. Yeah, I loved that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on, Lydia. So, um... 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 Okay, bye. Good luck. This field is extremely corny. Ha ha ha! Hey, uh, I don't want to be unfriendly, but this is a private residence that y'all just barged into. Oh, geez, sorry. Everything's so desolate outside, I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned. Well, come morning, you'll be right, so you might as well get in out of the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name is Toast McRoast. Howdy, Toast. I'm Elias. Elias Chekhov. Make yourself at home. I will. All these boxes are labeled bears. Are these boxes really full of bears? No, those boxes are all canned pears. 
I had a little fun writing the labels is all. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. Bibson's extra sweet pears. Thank you. Oh. I'm out back now. You'd have to be impenetrably dense to wander into these woods. Well, consider me impenetrably dense. There's nothing on the clothesline except a pair of socks and an old gun. Okay. Scarecrow is a bit more intimidating than usual. The crows around here must be real aggressive. I'm going to go talk to him about that, Scarecrow. Weird device on top of this box. What's this funny looking thing? That's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh, fun. Used to be. Don't work anymore on account of being haunted. Haunted? Yeah, well, not haunted exactly. Bunch of spiders got in there, and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I see. If you want it, it's yours. You gingerly take the duck call, trying very hard not to think about spiders. What spiders? Sure, this duck call is haunted, but you can't remember the story of how it got that way. Reduces his enemy's muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one. Okay. Cool. There's a rifle hanging over the fireplace. Ask Elias about it. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep. How come? Well, it's a varmint rifle, and where I'm going, there ain't no varmints. There's vermin, to be sure, and critters, and such as like that. But the almanac don't list any examples of a varmint, qua varmint, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. No need to fret over it right now in any case. That gun is for later. Later? Uh, yep, much later. Okay. These boxes are labeled gears. What's with these boxes full of gears? My daughter Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep, keep them for her. That makes sense. These boxes are labeled tears. Wait, are these boxes of tears or tears? Don't be ridiculous. You can't put neither one of them in boxes. That don't make any kind of sense. You are right. This door looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Where does this door lead, I ask you? Spare bedroom ain't been used in forever. I don't even bother opening the door since that dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though I doubt you'll find much use. A dust devil? Yeah, those critters are a real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds that ain't been cleaned under properly, and since I lost my broom back in 26, it's been a real, what Simone call it? A nutrient-rich environment. Ordinary little beasts. Real territorial. Okay, I'll be careful. It's a shelf full of pulp westerns. Cowboys of Tar Nation. The Buffalo of Tar Nation. The Bandits of the West. Buffalo of the Bloody Trail. Oh. The Handgun's Tale. The Cattle Women of the West. Cowboys of the Night. The Betrayal at Six Gun Creek. Ambush at Owl Creek. Reckoning at Bloody Ranch. Cowgirls of Tar Nation. The Ambush at Six Gun Arroyo. The Fist Fight at Cow Creek. Ambush at Cowboy Gulch. Reckoning at Cow Creek. The Showdown at Owl Creek. The Duel at Bloody Mountain. The House Folk of Glory. The Shootout at Bloody Ranch. House Folk of the Night. All right. A Dusty o Ten Meat. Oof. Dust Devil's really kicking up some chicken. Oh, kicking up some dickens under there. All right. What's in here? Stocks? Scissors! Shares. It's a very large box, considering that most people own either zero or one class ring. Is this box really full of class rings? Yep, about 140 of them. Did you go to college 140 times? <laughs> no, of course not. I just collect them as all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. They're all different in interesting ways, and they're shiny. That there's the collecting trifecta. Huh. Well, okay, then. Elaborate electric lock. What's with this door? Oh, that's my daughter Simone's room, who's left for college. Hopefully she ain't left anything important in there, because I plumb forgot how to work that crazy lock she invented. I see. So at least do a bathroom. Ask if you can use it. Can I use your bathroom? Sure, how'd you know that door was the bathroom, though? I've always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms, is all. Well, good for you, I guess. Flush it. Oh. Hoping it won't come back to haunt you later. A vicious claw foot bathtub. See your face, just like your own mirror back home. Gaze into it. Hi, Toast. Smile. 
Hey there, good looking. Frown. Aw, oh, what's wrong? Why I oughta. Yeah, we're, we're sticking with why I oughta. That is our face now. I'll fight this. Are you sure? Chekhov said these things are pretty dangerous. I'll go talk to Chekhov first. Elias is looking around and mumbling to himself as he checks off his mental to-do list. So you're moving out? Hey, yep, I finished packing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take this last load of stuff. You've got movers coming in the middle of the night? No, in the morning. But I went and packed my teddy bear and forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. I see. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never particularly cared for farming anyhow, just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckon I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. Heh. <laughs> nice. So what's your story? What are you doing out on the night like this? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. It sounded urgent, so I hopped a bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I gotcha. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks. I gotta warn you, though, you'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto-ominous robo-traption to help with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice, too. Wow. Problem is, after she left, it blew a what's-it tube and got violent. I'm pretty good with the machinery, but when it comes to these new fangled electrics, I might as well be a dog trying to read Plato. So I locked it in the barn. Aha, I see. You're welcome to try your hand against it if you've a mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. Thanks. All right, to the barn. You heave the doors open and leave the key in the lock in case Elias wants to lock it up later. Inside the barn. This is a nice barrel, but it'd be nicer if it had anything in it. Watering trough for some long gone livestock. This must be the farmer's daughter's fishing rod. I got a fishing rod. Well, if only I had some muscle, like even one or two would have been helpful. Uh, read that. Oh. I cannot equip that. There we go. Up, up, uh, equip that. I think, right? Yeah. Deals your muscle plus one physical damage. Well, everything is one because I'm a basic ass bitch, so. Right, this still yeah, they all just do one. I can increase my moxie. Yep. Eat the cheese loaf. And then that deals my moxie, so that'll give me three. Alright. Destroy it then. Shoot it. <laughs> yeah, take that. That didn't even hurt. Ooh. Simone's monster is now just a pile of parts on the floor. Rest in parts. Search it. Welding gloves. One hot armor. Accept your reward. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna fight this now. To show it that I ain't scared. Bam! Oh. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Whoops. That thing really shot the crow out of you. Yeah, oof. Okay. Just got my ass beat by a scarecrow. Eh, never mind. Probably shouldn't fight that either. Just leave. Got what I needed. Oh no! This turtle is stuck on his back. I am, I am helping it. There you go, buddy. 
old billboard from before the war. Enjoyed blue cola? It's like they drove this boxcar out here and then took the track away. Boy, someone must have hated this boxcar. Okay. Something shiny in this pile. Oh, a class ring. I'll give that to Elias. I've got a full gas can. Some incomprehensible glyphs are scrawled on the wall of the boxcar. Open fire. Hey, there's something in there. A crowbar. Is that a weapon? Yeah, but not a good one. Interrupt his tootling. Hi there, I'm Toast. Well, howdy there, neighbor. I'm Howie. Pleased to meet you. I'm not actually from here, though. Well, the way I see it, this whole country's my home, so everybody's my neighbor. Oh, that's nice. Either that, or they're all trespassers who'd better get off of my property. Haha, <laughs> I'm just joshing you, friend. Care for some jerky? What kind? Clam. It's a local delicacy. Yeah, I'll have some jerky. There you are. Can't abide the stuff myself, like eating a dried slug, but saltier. Come to think of it, that's exactly what it is. You're really selling me on this local delicacy. If you ask me, the locals are a bit weird. Where are you from? Originally, I'm from Hawaii, but I got bored of gorgeous tropical beaches and decided to hit the rails. You rode the rails from Hawaii. <laughs> yep, real challenging trip for a first time hobo, but I made it through all right. You ever think of going back? They only got the, the one track there, so it was a one-way trip. I might head back for a visit once they built a second one, though. Huh. Do you live here? Not permanent-like, but I've been camped out here a few days. All alone? Well, it used to be a bit livelier, but the bosses sent a railroad bull to run everybody off. Railroad bull? You mean like a cop? Yeah, you could say that. I think he's still prowling around out back if you care to test your metal. I don't advise it, though. Is he packing heat? No, he's unarmed, but one of your arms might make a pretty good club once he gets it off of you. Hmm. Any plans for the future? Well, word on the wall is that there's a camp forming in Ocean City. I figure I'll mosey on over there once this rain lets up. Word on the wall? I never heard that phrase. Is it like, through the grapevine? <laughs> similar, similar. I see. Is this your knapsack, your only luggage? Oh, that ain't mine. That's been there since I, since before I moved myself. Nobody's been able to work out how to open the dang thing. If you can figure out the trick, you're welcome to it. You inspect the bag, it appears to be latched shut with one of those puzzles made out of bent nails and steel wire. Howie wasn't just harmonicking Dixie. Okay, let's go fight this. Oh, I can't. Wait, what did he give me? He gave me food. I can boost my mixtacality. I think I needed three. Oh, unpack. Oh, right. Clam jerky. Muscle. Eat. Yes. Yes. And then equip that. And then I should be able to go through here, right? Yeah! Howie loves playing the harmonica. Aw. I got a grimy spatula. And a 133% full can of gas. Nothing of interest inside, and also we're not paying to cool off the whole neighborhood. I don't think that's powered, but mysticality plus two physical damage. Okay, well that's... Yeah, oh, but if I do that, yeah, give me that. And then equip that, and then I do like four damage. Uh-oh. It's that railroad bull Howie told you about, although railroad minotaur would probably be more accurate. Take the bull by the horns. Flip. <laughs> yeah, get flipped. Flip. Oh yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Uh-oh. If I do that, then maybe he'll do four damage and then I can beat him. Yeah, okay. So I can do the same thing with that scarecrow. Flip! Got enough XP now to learn a skill. Open the character sheet via the icon on the top right or hit C. Um. 
Okay, because I've got 15 XP. Uh, let's get... I don't remember which one I needed for that other place, so I'm going to hold off until I get back to that, uh, the next thing that tells me that I need more of something in order to interact with it. Moxie. Moxie it is. Give me that. Yep. Increase my moxie. I think it'll only... I think I still won't have enough for this, but... Okay. Well... I dealt with that railroad bowl for you. You did? Well, now that's a real service to the hobo community. I ain't got anything to offer you as a reward, but I surely won't forget this. No problem, Howie. Have a good one. I've got 133% of the fuel I need. You've heard a lot of nice things about Topeka, but not 1,200 miles worth of nice things. Fair enough. Oh, no, oops. Uh, yeah, because I found this guy a class ring. Found this old class ring. Hey, a 17 SIT ring. I've got one of these in faux emerald, but not a faux sapphire one like this. These are the ones they gave to the junior varsity pig skinners. Had a little enchantment on them so the kids wouldn't get quite so many concussions. Probably worn off by now. It's all yours if you want it. Well, thank you. That's right. Generous. Don't mention it. I'm going to go fight that scarecrow now that I know how. Yeah, I'm back, you bastard. Get tooted. Yeah, no stats for you. Spronk. Kerpal, that didn't hurt. Huh. Schlammy. Jasper the canary grows stronger. All right. This crow's menacing days are over. Is this going to be... More fuel. <laughs> Two hundred percent full can of gas. Pretend to be a farmer. Hope I have time to sow the sow to sow the soap. <laughs> Hope I have time to sow the soybeans before it's time to slop the bulls. Gotta trim the roosters before sun up. Gonna harvest the bulgur and then till the soybeans. Time to rake some wheat. Man, even pretending to farm is hard work. Oh no, I have to harvest the rabbits. <laughs> no, I meant to say I have to walk them. Better trim the rams before the weather gets worse. Today seems like a good day to rake my fields. I hope I have time to harvest my sore gum before it's time to scrub the pigs. Gotta scrub the sheep before sunup. I'm gonna reap some oats and then fertilize some rye. Time to sow the wheat. Oh no, I have to dust the lambs. Ha <laughs> ha, no, I meant to say I have to slop them. Better slop the horses before the weather gets worse. Today seems like a good day to reap my oats. Man, can't wait to go tell Elias about what a good sounding farmer I am. Hey Elias, I uh, had to beat up your scarecrow, sorry. Well, I was leaving it behind anyhow, but why'd you go and do a thing like that for it shot at me with a gun. Oh, oh right, yeah, that's perfectly reasonable then. All right, let's let's go fight this thing. Um, uh, give me some more muscle. Give me some more mysticality, actually. And then I have three mysticality. So, yeah, okay, there we go. That was good. That was smart. Drag it out. Yep. Oh. Oh. Honk. Get honked. And then get flipped. That didn't even hurt. Hardly at all. Oh, I'm dead. Well. Suppose it did hurt. Just a little bit. Guess I probably should have listened to... Oh, I have a crowbar. Some old cellar under here. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> all these jars of food are revolting, but on the bright side, all but three of them are broken. Take the unbroken ones. Are you sure? They're really gross. Okay, it's your funeral if you eat them, I mean. You got a pair or a jar of gross old vegetables. What'll that do for me? 
Oh! Could probably make a crude ladder out of these bits of wood. <laughs> what are these? Yeah, I'll fight these. Oh. Ouch. Honk. Whip. Jump. Oh god, that's a lot of poison. Oh god. Oh, that's so much poison. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's actually use that thing that it gave me. Ouch. Heave. Okay. Uh, honk. A more dangerous blind spider. Oh, I see. Okay. So I should have attacked this one first, for sure. Oh, man. This, this is it. This is it. Uh, ba -ba. Okay. Heave. Honk. And then... Give it the old wham-bam-dangy. Yeah, now he only adds one. And I have a chance to beat this. Oh, never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I don't think I'll... Uh... Oh, this will not end your turn. Okay. Well. No, I still won't beat it, though. Oh, okay, but I should have done that from the first place. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got this, I got this. Yep. I know what to do now. E. E. Uh... Let's save that for the Dust Devil. Just try to beat this guy. Throw a rock at it. Yep. And then smack it with a spatula. Whack! Okay, okay. Yep, and then I just gotta do that same thing again. Throw a rock at it. Smack it with a spatula. Yeet. Perfect. Shutter. Okay, is there anything over here? No. That was just for combat experience. Now, I think I can fight the Dust Devil. Probably not. I forgot that he does four. Okay. Heave that at him. Uh, okay, so now he's going to hit for one damage. So, yeah, dropping those won't do anything. So throw the rock at him. That hit him for two. Hit him with a spatula for four. Okay. He do, he do. Oh, God. Okay. Throw the rock. Hit him with a spatula. Bam, son. You're done. Yeah. Get bedeviled. 
took care of that dust devil in your bedroom. Did you now? Well, thank you kindly. Of course, it's a bit late for my purposes, but I imagine the next documents will be grateful. Hopefully the thing didn't rough you up too bad. No, it was a snap. It actually roughed me up very bad, and I almost died. But we don't need to talk about that. Okay. Well, I've got twice the amount. There's weird plaque where Lydia was standing. At this exact spot on the 13th of October 1908, the state's first mass-produced automobile, a Ford Model T purchased by Hiram O. Crullins, accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker, Lydia Barnsley. So apparently that woman you talked to a few minutes ago has been dead for exactly 20 years. Good. Swell. Everything about this is great, and you aren't regetting this trip before you even arrived. Go on about your normal non-haunted day. Oh, because I was haunted. I see. I see, I see. Can I do anything over here now? Can I... Aha! Figure it out. Helco Portable Gasoline Generator. It's a machine for generating portable gasoline. I've got a 233% full junk of gasoline. The only thing I didn't get was a rubber hose, I think. Yeah, that was the only thing that I could have probably used. Fishing rod. <laughs> Fish in the gas pump. Should have known there weren't any fish in there. Well, listen, it was worth a try. Oh, the turtle! Show the dress every gas can. Well, his gas can. Well, huh. This can doesn't usually hold that much gas. Not sure how you did that. Well, whatever. Are you ready to hit the road? Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> doesn't usually hold that much gas. You climb back on the bus and return to your seat. And soon you're dozing off to the sound of rain spattering on the window beside you. Unfortunately, it's barely an approximation of sleep. The sort of sleep that you slip into so gradually that you don't even know you're asleep until something wakes you up. Plunkett Street. And you realize that your meandering thoughts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange, shadowy tendrils of whispering ideas. Hey, kid, this is your stop, right? That are now totally forgotten. Ugh. Ugh, what? All ashore, what's going ashore? Thanks for traveling, Willis Busco. Disembark. Now I think that's it for today. Uh, I don't know how to save, actually. So I'll play a little longer till I figure out how to save. Nice weather we're having. He smiles, then looks up and lets the rain splash on his face for a while. <laughs> Suits me just fine, I guess. A wise man once said, the rain falls on poor men and rich men alike. Was that before umbrellas were invented, or... My name's Gus, by the way. Hi, I'm Toast. Pleased to meet you, Toast. Say, you wouldn't have a couple of meat to spare, would you? Sure. Flip Gus some meat and he beams. Thank you very much, Toast. Old Gus won't forget your kindness, you bet. Take her easy, Gus. Probably nothing you want here anyways. Going seems inaccurate. Surplus is closed. Murray's Antiques. The bell over the door jangles as you walk into Murray's Antiques. The young woman at the counter looks up at you as you enter. Oh, hi, you must be toast. We don't get many customers at this time of night. Or at all, really. That's me. You were expecting me? Yeah. Murray didn't say much about you, but he gave me that letter to mail. My name's Jessica. Oh, geez, you're soaking wet. Come on in and I'll get you a towel. You walk over to the counter, trying not to drip on any vintage bric-a-brac as Jessica grabs a threadbare bath towel from a shelf and pulls the tag off before tossing it to you. Thanks. Is Uncle Murray here? His letter was very specific. He isn't. You said that in kind of an ominous way. Where is he? I wish I knew. He had a line on another artifact and said it was going to be a tough one. I told him he should get some backup, but he wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter and told me to mail it if he didn't come back. Is there something I'm missing here? This is an antique shop, right? You make trying to talk You make trying to talk great Aunt Ruthie into selling your mother's Chesterfield sound like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, this is gonna take some explaining. <laughs> Can't it wait till morning? I want to get out of these wet clothes and into a dry bed. Sorry, hun. We don't have a lot of time to waste, and I have to at least give you enough info to make a rational decision on helping us or not. Well, okay. Jessica leads you into a back room furnished with some desks and some strange-looking machinery. 
Welcome to our back office, the hub of our little operation. I'm guessing by operation you're talking about something other than antiques. Well, yes and no. See, a few years ago, Murray found out that there's a bunch of antiques circulating that are, well, hinky would be a real understatement. Hinky? Murray called them tainted, dark magic, real bad mojo, you know? Cursed. Yeah, I know about that kind of thing. It's no joke. That's what our job is here. The antique store is just, well, not exactly a front. We find a lot of regular antiques, too, and selling them keeps us in scratch. But really, we're trying to hunt down all these evil doodads and neutralize them so nobody gets hurt. And Uncle Murray went out to get one and never came back. That's the long and short of it. Yep. What do you say? Are you in? Absolutely. I'm always up for a crazy adventure. Great. Hello? Oh, hey, that's swell timing. Hey, Gabby. Murray's sister's kid showed up. Come meet him. Uh, hi, Gabby. Pleased to meet you. Hi, hello, the pleasure is all Gabby's. Gabby, would you be a dear and carry his luggage to Murray's room and grab some blankets and stuff out of the cupboard? He can sleep there till we find Murray. You've gotten it. Gabby picks up her suitcase and carries it through a door in the back of the room. Great, I could really use some sleep. Go in. Hang on a sec, you can't go to sleep yet. I'm pretty sure I can. I bet I could do it right here while I'm still standing up. Haha, <laughs> well I hate to spring this on you, but there's something we need you to do before the night's over. Wow, a mission already? You know those cursed artifacts I was talking about? Since info on them is so sketchy, we've been working on a machine that can detect them with radio waves. I call it the Detectatron 1000. We've just gotten it up and running since Murray left, and it turned out there's a tainted thing practically right on our doorstep. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's not great. I was going to have Gabby go get it. That's why she came over tonight, but since you turned up out of the blue... Are you sure this can't wait until morning? I've been walking around all day in the pouring rain, fetching gas for a bus driver. The thing's been there who knows how long already. Surely one more night won't be the end of the world. I'm really sorry about this, but the end of the world might well be the sort of thing we're talking about. Cripes, you're really putting the hard sell on me here. You won't have far to go. It's just down the other end of the block. If the readings are right, there's a newspaper office that got shut down earlier this year. It should be in there. Well, Gabby will go with you. She's good in a fight. A fight? Heck yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully it won't come to that, but you never know. Hey, Gabby. Gabby reappears with an expectant grin. Go to the newspaper office with Toast and help him get that hat, okay? Okay, Gabby is ready for an action. Let's mosey. Let out a tired sigh. All right, fine. You said it's a hat? A cursed hat? According to the readout, yeah. A men's fedora, probably. And I'm supposed to do what? Just break in and take it? Well, not break exactly. I managed to finagle a spare key out of the guy at the realtor's office. I'm pretty sure that still counts as breaking and entering. You'll be in and out and back here in bed before you know it. Well, okay. Wish me luck, I guess. That is a job for next time. You will encounter so many spiders. All combat sounds will be replaced with spider noises. Oh, interesting. Okay, 